The internet has made our lives easier, especially in terms of doing research. By browsing the internet, we can access limitless topics. Web-based catalogs are available in many libraries to assist researchers in locating printed books, journals, government documents, and other materials. The biggest obstacle facing all researchers on the internet is how to effectively and efficiently access the vast amount of information available. In our previous lesson, we discussed an online safety, security, ethics, and etiquette that we must take into consideration in using internet. Technologies such as mobile phone, laptop, computer, and other electronic gadgets connect us to the world through different online platforms. Security and safety have been taught to us that we can avoid risk and danger online. As an individual who is part of online community, we must maintain good social behavior. In this lesson, you are expected to use the internet as a tool for credible research and information gathering to best achieve a specific class objectives or address situational challenges. Internet research is a research method in collecting and gathering information via internet by using search engines such as Google. It is the practice of using internet information, especially free information on the World Wide Web or internet-based resources like internet discussion forum in research. Internet research has had a profound impact on the way ideas are formed and knowledge is created. Common applications of internet research include personal research on a particular subject, something mentioned in the news, a health problem, etc., students doing research for academic projects and papers, and journalists and other writers researching stories. There are billions of information on the web and it is a challenge for us to truly find which information is reliable and relevant. Here are some tips you may use to be able to look for relevant and reliable resources. Search Engine is a program that allows users to search for content on the internet. These are websites used for retrieval of data, files, or documents from databases. Some examples of Search Engine are Google, AOL Search, WOW, Baidu, Webcrawler, Yal Search, My Web Search, Wolfram Alpha, Bing, Info, Dogpile, DuckDuckGo, As, Infospace, ContentCo, and Internet Archive. A URL is one type of Uniform Resource Identifier or URI. It is a generic term for all types of names and addresses that refer to objects on the World Wide Web. Knowing the URL endings will give you clues to who is sponsoring the website and help evaluate the sources. Take a look at the example. The first part is the protocol, which declares how your web browser should communicate with the web server when sending or fetching a web page or document. The most common protocol is HTTP, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Next is the subdomain. A subdomain is a subdivision of the main domain. For example, mail.dofood.com and calendar.dofood.com are subdomains of the domain name dofood.com. Domain name. A domain name is a unique reference that identifies a website on the internet, for example, searchenginejournal.com. A domain name always includes the top-level domain, which in searchenginejournal.com case is the .com. Next is the path. The path typically refers to a file or directory on the web server, example, directory slash file.php. Sometimes the file name won't be specified. So a web browser will automatically look inside the folder for a file called index or default. A fragment is an internal page reference, sometimes called an id anchor. It usually appears at the end of a URL and begins with a hash character followed by an identifier. It refers to a section within a web page. Here are the popular domains. For top-level domains, .edu for educational institution, .org for non-profit organization, .gov for government site, .com for commercial site, and .net for network. County code to top-level domains, .ph for the Philippines, .eu for European Union, .uk for United Kingdom, and .au for Australia. Getting the correct and reliable information is our goal in internet research. We may rely on the capability of search engine, but sometimes it may not give us the correct information because of the keywords we entered into a search engine. There are techniques in searching information that can be applied in search engine in order to get a better result. Some search engines allow combination of words and logic connectors of AND, OR, and NOT. Here are the tips for effective internet research by George Matthews.
These are the only research skills by Hannah Tyreweller had served. Let's move on to the different search skills and tools. One, Boolean logic. It narrows, broadens, or eliminates search terms such as or, and, or not. Free searching is used to search for famous quotes, proper names, recommendations, and etc. It encloses the phrase in quotation marks. Last sign. It indicates the word after the sign is a required word must be found in search. Minus sign indicates to exclude a word from your search that is not required on the result. Ampersand is used to find social tags. Hashtag is used to find popular hashtags. Finding documents using the file type refines the search for documents on the web. Searching site, the site's find web page from a website. There are millions of information that we can get from the internet. Some of these information are free but others are not. They are protected by a copyright law. So what is a copyright? Copyright is a protection given to the owner of the rights in an original work such as books, musical works, films, paintings, and other works and computer programs. This original work is called intellectual property which is protected under Republic Act 8293 known as the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. Copyright infringement. This happens when the copyrighted work is used by other person without permission of the author or copyright holder. Any person who is infringing the right protected work would be liable under the law. Research is important to the students and other people. Most of them rely on the information they can get online. Although this information is protected by copyright law, but we can still use this information without permission in a limited way under certain condition and purpose. Fair use is the use of copyrighted material for comment, teaching, criticism, news reporting, research, scholarship, and other similar purposes is not an infringement of copyright. Example of this is when you post a quote from a person in your Facebook wall, include the name of person who owns the quote in your post. Another example is when you copy image from the internet, give credit to the creator of image. The copied image should be used for educational purpose, not for commercial use. Guidelines for fair use Majority of the contents created must be yours, give credit to the owner, and don't make profit of the copyrighted work. The community online never stops upgrading. Before, users of Web 1.0 can only read through the content of the website, but now with presence of Web 3.0, we can now create our own profile and communicate online. However, you need to be careful while you are online since there are possibilities that your identity or personal information might be stolen or your personal files might be deleted by malicious software. So always bear in your mind that you need to think before you click. See you in our next lesson!